All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to Bandle Tell. And today, in today's episode, we're about to throw uh, the awesome Yodel Fest. Uh, I've been uh, really looking forward for this one. Uh, before I actually decided to do this one, I had to make sure, of course, I have enough people to uh, be able to bring him over. So that means I had to go on over and uh, make a lot of uh, kind of like kitchen events, try to get people to come on over, eat, request some uh, food from uh, the restaurant here, and uh, deliver what they wanted. So I think now that we have everything that we need, uh, this is basically the quest that we currently have, the only quest that we currently have. Once we're done with this one, probably more things are going to unlock. So that being said, oh, hold up. Speed of vending machine upgrade. I just noticed we have this one available. Sure thing. <laughs> Hold up a minute. Uh, this means we're probably going to be able to sell stuff a little bit faster. Yeah, look at that. Interesting. I cannot wait to unlock the third slot, of course, into the shop as well. So we can sell even more things. But uh, for now, that is going to be it. And uh, let's get the backpack. And let me make my way all the way up and try to get this event going. I absolutely love this game, guys. I'm truly, truly in love with this game. I've been having a blast ever since I discovered it. And uh, man, it is just so good. All right, look at all the people here waiting. Now, this is where the event that we had took place previously, where uh, everything got messed up. Uh, hopefully, we can fix it up. I don't know. Let's uh, let's try to find out. So, of course, we got to unroll this. We have to prepare it for, where is it? Uh, this one, the awesome Yodel Fest. There we go. We got to bring the Quirky over. We got Rumble. We got Tristana. We got Timo. And, of course, we got Lulu. And not only that, but also we got ourselves. Now, it looks like we need some fire. So, for some fire boost, I can put the Chill Potty Charm. There we go. To uh, boost up the fire here. I still need to remove one fire, though. Customization selected 0 out of 2. Oh, yeah. Because we need these ones. Uh, the Funnel Potty Soundtrack. Yeah. Of course, we want this one. And this light over here. All emanating type of lights, best suited for loud music. All right, so we got this one. All I got to do now is just remove one fire. Uh, so to remove a fire, and only a fire, I guess I could get rid of this thing. This one is removing two. Yeah, but I, don't, I, I guess that could be okay. Right? Yeah, if I just remove this one. Yeah, look at that. We're all good. We are all good with the party, with the event. Uh, do I need anything extra, though? That is my question. I could put, like, one eye and one uh, music only. Yeah, let's see if I can add that. Uh, so only one eye and one music only. Not too much, because if I put too much, it's going to ruin everything. Uh, I mean, we can add one of these for one music. Or we can add one of these for an eye. But I have no more slots available to place them in. The big... Flag stand, look at that. Oh, and this one is using the resource that I have actually to make it. Interesting. So that's giving us six fire. And if I put the uh, big flag, it's giving us... Oh, also six fire, never mind. I think I already have it created, yeah, that's why. Oh no, that's the... No, no, it's not the dance floor, it's this one. Okay, you know what, I'm not going to add anything extra. If it's going to work, it's going to work. Let's just uh, set it up. There we go. Come on, everybody. Come on over here. Let's have some fun. Uh, we have only two minutes to do this one real fast. So I got to try to boost as much as possible here. Oh, my God. Look at the boost. Jesus, that was fast. Okay. Let's boost some more. Wait, that's not working. I got to boost this guy instead. Come on, buddy. You got to move to a different place from the dance floor. Or I guess I can boost you again. There we go. That is done. Let me keep on boosting this fella. Dude, we only have 8 out of 30. We need more. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You guys need to change your positions. Go somewhere else. I'm really struggling here trying to boost them. Oh my god, look at this guy. He loves it though. The other ones are about to charge up as well. What I love about it is that I'm also getting tons and tons of points as well by the looks of it. Uh, for being able to expand my skill tree as well. I cannot boost these things though, the music ones. Oh, they're finally done. Okay, you're gonna go in there. You, buddy, are gonna go in there. We got it! That was easy! Awesome Yodel Fest, complete it. There we go! 
This is so fun. And the outstanding Yodel Fest is starting to uh, be uh, charged up, right? Unlock new festival car, faculty. Huh. The faculty one. It was the first party since Ozzy's catastrophe. And it was amazing! That's good to know. The coolest Yordles from every part of Bandle City were having a blast. <laughs> you can feel the happiness and unity in the air. It started to form a new portal. The threads of unity filled the whole city. Yordles hey, it's connecting everything back every together. Island. Look at that. Awesome. It was the last step before saving Clover. Or that's what I thought. Because this game is giant by the looks of this it. This adventure started with a party, so ending with one seemed right. We wondered, was this the end already? It's not. It's definitely not. Oh, well, my Yordle friends. Exactly. The <laughs> is no. Exactly. This story is far from over. Love it. Absolutely love to hear that. And the reason I knew that that's happening is because we have so many more things that we still have to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? A party? The fact that I ask about speaks for itself, doesn't it? <laughs> what would Ozzy say? Now that Ozzy always knew how to have fun. Wait, what are you doing here? Surprised to see me, Stanton? Well, a new dress hanging out with Rumble? So boring. <laughs> I told you, don't ever call me that again. Well, see, Rumble, she doesn't even deny it. And she, the only reason that you're here. Shut up, Vigor. That's, that's not true at all. Guys, you're only encouraging him. Let's go with that, yeah. Vilgar, why are you being so mean? Oh, Lulu, poor gullible Lulu. I just said more to you, and then any of your friends did the whole party. And I'm the mean one? <laughs> what do you want, Vilgar? Well, me? Well, I just wanted to see this party for what it truly is. A vanity project. I mean, Stanton made up some badge nonsense to get you here. And yet I, the most dedicated party animal in Bandle City, get the short end of the stick. Hmm. How did you get into the portal? What's just a piece of cake for such a powerful magician as Vigor? So, what do you say, Stanton? It took me a minute to turn your snows fest into a real banger. I suggest you prioritize inviting me first next time. What the heck, dude? Poor Vigor, not being invited really got to him. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna just stand here and listen to how boring I am. Let's focus on the positive. The portal opened, so the party worked. We just need to improve, uh, improve it, I guess? Like, to add some glitter and stuff? No, we need to follow the Battle Scout rulebook. How about punching something? <laughs> you all have very different ideas about what makes a good party. Yeah, well, one of us has to be the right. Uh, let's have a competition to see who uh, that is. Wait, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I guess it might work. Hmm, I'm game. Me too. So it's settled. Uh, we're going to see whose party is best, and Stanton will judge. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely want to go punch something. <laughs> Gosh dang it, dude, they all left. Alright, apparently I gotta go to Gatchdown. We gotta go to Greensprout Grove, and we gotta go to Inspiration Island next. Uh, not sure why. Uh, but first, we gotta chat with Tristana right over here. I can't believe Vigor dared show his face here. Hmm, this isn't how I imagined our party ending. And our plan almost worked too. Yeah, well, he's definitely behind all this. And him mentioning Ozzy, that's very weird as well. Come to think of it, I remember seeing them uh, talking right before the catastrophe. Hmm, what are you implying? I don't know, maybe the catastrophe wasn't as much of an accident as we thought. What? Ozzy would never do that. Hmm, I honestly don't want to think that either, but first things first, we need to find Vigor. And I doubt that it will be easy after what uh, he just pulled off. We're going to need some help from Bandal City, best trackers. Meet me in Gunner's Camp when you're ready. Ah, I guess we're just about to probably get the people from the Gunner's camp and uh, do something about that one. Am I going to be able to also fix up all these portals? I think I might be able to. Cheer up, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, thanks, Riding. I just, I don't think I'm cut out for this. I, sh I never should have left Yarnville. Hey, Stanton, I came to support your big party, but I heard it didn't go as planned. Yeah, Vigor appeared out of nowhere. He was rude to everyone and spoiled the party. Hmm. Well, Vigor was always kind of a rotten apple. You shouldn't blame yourself, though. His plans really work as the intent, so it'll work out in the end. I have a feeling Vigor is going to be the villain in this whole adventure, though. I don't understand why the portal closed. 
it worked at first? Well, to tell the truth, I don't know either. But you learned so much already. I'm sure you figured it out as well. Poor Clover, she's still trapped. Who knows where? Yeah, well, it was a good try. You just need a new plan. Don't forget, you're a knitter. Uh, ne and knitters never let each other's sides. I'm going to gather all the knitters. Maybe together we can figure out a new plan. Thanks, Gramps. I'll be there. Awesome. There we go. Uh, the Think Break is uh, activating some more. Next up, we gotta go to Gunner's Camp. Knitter's Village. I think we gotta just visit every single one of the locations. Yeah, that's what it feels like. And all these other locations don't seem to have anything new for me. So, let me make my way down below again. Let's figure things out. What do we have to do next? This is such a good adventure, though. I'm absolutely love with this game. Uh, shop. They do have some new things for me. Aroma oils. But uh, I don't think I need anything. At least, not yet. So we got all these here. Uh, okay, hold up. Give me a second. I think if I'm not mistaken, I might be able to activate this portal now. We can. There we go. So these portals can now actually function. Actually, wait. This portal used to work before. Never mind. I'm confusing with something else. Uh, is this guy going to have like a shop for me? No. Okay. In that case, let me figure out what's happening here. Uh, oh, not, let's not forget that I gotta go to sleep. Of course, we gotta go to sleep to get some more points and uh, expand my skill tree as well. So let's go do that uh, real fast over here. Man, I absolutely love the look of our house, though. We upgraded the house in the previous episode, and now it's giant. Absolutely giant. Look at this. All right, we have 119 points that we gotta spend. So let's figure it out. This one is for the knitting. Let's keep on going to the right side and see what else we got to unlock. So we got the Sensation Fest. We got the Advanced Merchant as well. Ooh. Is that gonna allow me to sell stuff faster? Yeah, please. Let's get all these. Advanced Home Decorations. Perfect. And Master Thread Making. Here we go. And all the other ones are locked, of course. Awesome. Okay, we got all that unlocked. Uh, next, Engineering. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, we got two more. Craft and copper sheets. Um, I can only do the prodigy potty. Oh, yeah, we, we gotta do these ones actually the foundry workbench and the electro heat. Uh, let's do the I'm not gonna do the prodigy potty just yet, actually. Let's go with the foundry workbench level two first. I'm gonna need one more to get the electro heat conductor, and then we can go with the copper and tin crafts. Oh, hold up. Hey, sap cooking. There we go. We're going to have new recipes and the bread baking. Awesome. We're going to be able to cook more stuff now. Or more like soon once I'm going to have enough points to spend on the skill tree. Uh, next, we're also going to... Ooh, this one is unlocked. So we're going to be able to make a mixer, dessert, uh, yolk shroom potties, and of course, more badges we got to unlock. Okie dokie. And lastly, for magic, uh, we're going to have... Only these two, the Magic Mirror Level 2 and the Magic Auras that we can unlock. The other ones are going to be locked by badges. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Ooh, the Mystical Leg. That's probably going to allow me to run super duper fast. Hopefully. All right, well, that's been done. Um, Let me see what we got. Oh, man, my farm. I'm absolutely loving the farm here. Uh, let me see what else we can decorate because I did unlock a couple more things we can decorate around here. Uh, let us get the... Which ones? A Mumu home set. The Ziggs home set. Let's go with the Nar home set. Looks pretty gnarly. So let's get down unlocked. A Vigor home set. Nah, I hate this guy. I will get it eventually, of course. But uh, for now, let's go with a Mumu. Uh, Tristana home set. And that is gonna... No, actually, we also have the Hungry Hilltop home set. All right, and now if I go for decoration. Big area. Oh, wait. You can craft these things. What? So I can make the big area rug level 2 here. There we go. So that one is level 2 now. The banner decoration. Let's get that going. Wall decorations. Let's get that going. Oh my god. The house is about to look amazing. Oh, wait. Aha. Uh -huh, that's how you add it. Okay. Uh, oval windows. 
Ah, uh, that's how you switch. You either go with the oval windows or with the wall decoration. I'm gonna go with that because it looks stunning. Um, cozy sofa. Let's upgrade that one. Home of phonograph. Oh man, and the aroma lamp. What? Hold up a minute. Can I actually put a tape here? <gasps> I can make a music. So activate the phonograph. If I get a disc, I can actually activate it over there. Hold up. Don't I have a disc somewhere right here? I think I could actually play some music in the house. That's gonna be so good. Uh, let me figure out what I placed it. Because I may have used it actually for a lecture. Yeah, I may have used the uh, music disc there for a lecture. That's why I don't, uh, I don't have one again. Yeah, I no longer have one. That's fine. We're gonna hopefully find another one. And once I can do, I'm gonna do that. And light aromas! Ah, that's making me light aromas or oil aromas. That is so cool, dude. Just look at the house. It looks awesome. I feel like I upgraded everything in the house now. All right, all right, all right. Um, let's see what else. So, uh, let me just, before I'm gonna grab the backpack, let's see if we gotta craft anything else. Oh man, so many things we unlocked. This game is just absolutely giant. I'm also going to have to do some uh, upgrades, right, for my uh, things. So, first of all, let me unravel this. Charged zip can. So we can make more of those cans uh, charged up. Heat auras. Mech... Oh, if I put this in here, we can activate the heat aura. I get it. The seeds, basically, those are the ones doing it. Okay, nothing we can upgrade here. But I think I'm going to need more reinforced thread very soon. Uh, this one can be upgraded, the foundry workbench. But I need one more of those things. Oh, wait a minute. We can trigger this if I have batteries. Interesting. So, foundry workbench level 2. But I need one more of, uh, let's see, these things. But I need to activate the fire first. So let's activate the fire first. And now, let's make five of these, I guess. Okay. So what do you need? Uh, I'm not sure what do you need to make those again. I kind of forgot. Let's see if I can make more spider webs. Yeah, we can. At least just two for now. Okay, that's going to be it. Um... Cannot wait to make better shoes and everything. Advanced portal rod. That's also something I really want to do. The advanced portal rod for sure. Swift knitted. Um, also, we need more of these needy thingamajigs. Let's see if I can figure out how to make more. So if I want to make these ones. Oh, we need, of course, that. Uh, let's see. Motion aura. Right over here. I love that we can place these auras like that. Look at that. And now we can make four of these. Awesome. Let's uh, let that do its thing. Let me make me some more iron because I feel like we're kind of running low on it. Uh, cloth. Do we even have any more cloth? I don't even know. I feel like we don't. Oh, not to mention, what about a number eight? Uh, yeah, I need this, but I don't have it. Okay. Ooh, oh, we can make sizzle powder. But to make sizzle powder, I'm gonna need something. Um, okay, so we need that. Once this one's gonna be done, I guess I could move this workbench and make me some sizzle powder. Because basically what this needs for sizzle powder, it needs glowing ash. And if you combine glowing ash with mushrooms, you can make sizzle powder. I feel like we're doing that in order to kind of like make explosives. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need explosives, yeah. So let's just wait for this to do its thing. Then I'm gonna move it around and I'm gonna place this one in position there. How are these auras appearing, I wonder? That's something I have no clue. Because currently we have zero out of two, right? But why is that? Have I already placed an aura somewhere else and we gotta get it back in order to be able to use it here? I wonder. I don't know. We really don't know. Come on, buddy. Uh, 
Hurry up. Alright, this one is done as I was saying. Let me uh, move it out of the way and place this one in position over there instead. And now we can make some of these. Awesome. Um, Let's just make 10. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that's going to be making sizzle powder. Uh, this one is making the oil. Let us see here. What else? Oh, we can make the durable rope now. Look at this. But of course, actually, I think I have one durable rope. Yeah, I have one on me. I don't exactly remember uh, what I needed it for. I, I think I already used it because I probably made like two previously. Oh, and the groove spinner. But of course, I also need the, the uh, question mark. I could make a groove spinner. Yeah, hold on a minute. Uh, so the one that I need is the precision aura. I, I might have already placed a aura around here. That's why I cannot place another aura. Right? Yeah, I'm not even sure. Maybe not here, maybe somewhere else. Like the kitchen, maybe? Yeah, I'm not seeing any auras in the kitchen either. So I'm not quite sure. I should have... I should have had the uh, shop open here, to be honest, to uh, keep on selling this stuff. Or more like selling my stuff. Where's the other chest? Don't I have another chest? Oh, I, I might have already put everything from uh, my chest in the stores, yeah. Now I just gotta wait for them to be sold, I guess. Alright, uh, let this do its thing then. Let me grab this. Oh, hold up! Look at what we got here. We got five of these. Take them all. And now, we can upgrade this workbench. There we go. We got the foundry workbench. Oh, man. We can now make gear, glass, bricks, steel nuggets, and metal pipes. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That is perfect. Um, okay. Cool, cool. That's good to know. I'm going to have to go looking for more bugs to get more spider web from them. Not to mention we're going to need more threads. We are... I think kind of out of threads. Let me make uh, 28 threads. Yep, let's do that. Okay. There we go. We got 10 of these things. Uh, let me go get some sleep and reset so that we can get more XP points here and also spend it on the skill tree again. Dream. There we go. Perfect. Now if I go into the skill tree... We can get ourselves, um, oh, not to mention, we gotta make the massive portal fishing as well. Uh, but we might need the magic auras. Unlocked. Spider raising. Uh, this might mean that I could make me some spiders so I don't have to go looking for them. Mm hmm Yeah, you know what? Let's make this one. Perfect. If I do manage to make uh, those spider critters, that's going to be perfect, so I don't have to go looking for them anymore. I have eight left to spend. But how do you make the spider raisings? I'm going to be guessing not here. Uh, I'm going to be guessing we got to use this one. Have I made myself the fertilizer as well? I wonder. I don't think so because I don't have the leaf. Let's see if I have the fertilizer. No, oh, I have the fertilizer. Never mind. I already made it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let me grab these ones then. We got 40. Perfect. So much sizzle powder. And these ones. Okay. Now, of course, we can use a couple of them to make that. All right. We can make more sizzle powders if you want to, but not just yet. Okay, sputters. There we go, the spider chow. That is what I wanted, dude. 
Let's make a couple of them because I do want to start bringing in some uh, spiders to our farms. Okay, how many do we have? When it comes to the spider chow, 20. That should be enough. And now if I go here and I switch one of these with this. Wait, what? Why can't I not, why can't I not switch it? I think I may need to bring a spotter yet yeah, to be able to place it in there. Mm hmm. Or more like a couple, maybe? Yeah, that's what I gotta do. Because these are currently set up. Okay, let me go bring a spotter then. Let me go bring a spotter. Oh, this one doesn't have a spotter, unfortunately. Hold up. Let's put that one back. At the same time, actually, I'm going to let this uh, keep on selling. I'm not going get, to get it with me. I just got to go get me some uh, resources then. Let's get this one back. Okay, use that, 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 and that. Get more clay. I'm going to, I'm not going to activate them again because I do need those things charged up if I want to charge up more of them. I'm going to go with the old man either way, so I guess it doesn't really matter. All right, we got a bug over here. Let's set it up so that it catches more. Let me see if I can get that bug set up as well so we can collect more for ourselves. So if I go here, I set it up to be a bug. Okay. Oh, wait. I can't activate it. I need a specific thing I want you to activate it there. Uh, I don't have that aura unlocked, unfortunately. So basically, the aura that we need, where is it? Let's see. I'm not seeing it here. It's probably in the magic, right? Oh, yeah, it's right here, this one. So I need this magic aura unlocked. And once I get this one, then I'm probably going to be able to place it. And uh, currently, we basically cannot get any bugs because I don't have that aura. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, uh, let me try something then. Let me try to make a, another chest over here. Like that. Upgrade that. Uh, let's see. I don't have any more inventory space. Take it. And I think I sent that one to the mail instead. Not how I'm sure if that's what happened. <clears throat> sure, put the oil in there as well. Okay, next, let me go into remove this chest. <clears throat> let me go into move this chest over here. And here I want to have another one of these bug thing about jigs. That's what I want to have. So I have all three bug generations in there. Uh, bug hutch right over here. There we go. And this is going to be the spotted one. So we got the spotted one here. We got the fireflies over here. Just like that. And we got the spider webs over here. For the spider hutch. But I just need to uh, collect that one to trigger it. Okay. Um, in that case. Let me figure out what I got to do next. There we go. I just took care of the farm a little bit, planted everything, replanted everything, made sure everything is going to keep on doing its thing. Uh, so, I think we're kind of done for now. Uh, let me find out what type of lectures we could hold. I might have the resources that I need. So, when it comes to the artifacts... We cannot do this one. When it comes to these ones, I don't have that shoe. Oh, I could do the Gunner's Lecture. 
if I make me a kite. And I can make a kite and I also have the spikes. So yeah, let's make a kite and spikes to be able to hold this leg chair. You also get another bug here. So we need spikes that we already have and a kite. Uh, where are the spikes? Let's see. Okay, so we got the spikes over here. I think I just need one, if I'm not mistaken. So let me get this one set up. There we go. There's the spikes. All right. Uh... Oh, there's even more spikes here. What? Yeah, let's stack them. Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. Those have been stacked. Okay. So I just need to make a kite. Let me see if I can figure out how to make it. So to make the kite, okay, I think I know what I got to do. Motion aura over here. There we go. We can make a kite. And we can make a yo-yo as well by the looks of it. So let's make one kite for now. I'm also going to make a yo-yo just in case we're going to need it for a quest or something. Actually, I'm not going to make it. That's fine. We're going to make it once we're going to know if we need it. Ooh, we can make extremely safe explosives. Look at that. N, explosive charge. I just need the question mark one here. The thing is, if I go outside, I uh, get this one out and I put this one instead. I got to put this one on the question marks. So, let me move things around. Move this one. Over here. Come on. There we go. I might be able to make the explosives. Both of them. The charge and the explosive itself, right? Can. Okie dokie. Let's make that. And let me also make the... Uh, the charge. There we go. I don't know what I'm going to need to do with them, but uh, we did it. I cannot wait to have everything set up so I don't have to move things around anymore. That is going to be the best. All right, and now I should be able to hold this new lecture, right? Let us see. Hey, we can. There we go. We got us lecture. We got 10 final stars. Awesome. Okay, another lecture completed. That is awesome. Uh, next, I do not have this monkey thing with Jig there. If I get this one, I'm going to be able to hold another lecture can be found in chests. I just gotta find it, I guess. And for the level one, again, I have no idea what this is. The Scryer's Bloom. Yeah, we gotta just, oh, merchants. I'm gonna have to buy it from somebody, I guess. Okay, I guess we're done with all of these for now. Cool. In that case, let me move on to a new location. Uh, let me get my backpack. Oh, I have another one that I could sell. Another kite. Sure. Sell all of them. In the meantime, let me get my backpack. And uh, let's head on out. We do have a couple of quests we got to solve. So first, let me collect these. Uh, what do we got to do? We got to go to Inspiration Isle. First of all. And check out something over there. Oh, what's happening here? How's your party planning going? We spent some time chatting with my colleagues. Went through our uh, repertoire with, with a fine tooth comb, so to say. You know, investing in our possibilities of, uh, just say we've got nothing, Walt. <laughs> well, this is going to be the best, bestest party ever. The butterflies, the butterflies will flutter in a colorful tornado. The yodels will swim in a pink cloud. And me and Pix will be sitting atop a giant musical toad. <laughs> I'm not sure that would work, Lulu. Um... Any other ideas? The problem is that we can't just throw a party like any other island. Since we are most creative yodels, people have expectations. Even if we lose this contest, we've got to do it Panachi. Yeah, we've got to lose it like champions. Also, it would be a lot more enjoyable if your neighbors could come too. Your neighbors? Yeah, our artistic peers live on the slopes of uh, Ocular Delight. The visual arts might not be as sophisticated as music, but they're still our colleagues. Hmm, delicious food is also rad. 
What they mean is that the gourmet on a hungry hilltop would be welcome too. Okay, thanks. Uh, you did invite the butterflies already, right? Well, they usually fly in by themselves. Hmm. Lulu, a good host, always invites her guests personally. Yeah, that's an incredible idea. Pixie and I will draw invitations for the butterflies. These creators and their crisis. Let's just throw the party ourselves. <laughs> no, we want them to throw the party. Let them have it. Let them do their thing. Okay, so. Now that we know uh, what's about to happen here. I'm going to let that do the thing. Let me see if we have a shop or anything that we can buy stuff from them. And of course, collect more resources. There we go. Let's collect more black powder. Cannot wait to make better shoes as well. To be able to keep on running faster. Okay, let me go through here. Uh, let me get these bugs collected as well while we're at it. And let us figure out what we have to do next. Oh, hey buddy, what are you doing here? <laughs> That's what I was asking. My duty, of course. I'm keeping these tunnels safe. So, how's the safety of the tunnels? Something's wrong. The creative magic is whining. Your island has special haven with it. The most creative yodels of Battle City reside there. If anyone can restore the magic, uh, the creative magic, it's them. So, how do I get the secret haven? Their, their creative magic might be the secret to restoring the portals. The elevator that goes there was working during your last party. If we find a way to repair it, we can reach them. Their creative energy might also be amazing for your party. I think if there's a way to fix the elevator, ask me later. What's it like to keep the tunnels safe? Well, the tunnels, as you know, are tremendously important. Why? <laughs> That's a good one. No, seriously, why? <laughs> good grief, you're funny. Why are the tunnels uh, that important? <laughs> Fine, it was a joke, I guess. Hmm, hilarious. Uh, I think I'm gonna buy a little bit of red powder here. I know I've spent quite a bit of gold, but that's fine. And the reason I'm doing this is because basically if I go here, where the powder might be... Uh, actually, hold up, the powder is not here. I think this is one of the elevators that we gotta fix up as well. Uh, what I was about to say is that if I fix up the elevator... Uh, not the elevator, actually, hold up. I can't do that yet. Um, if I go to where I could get myself some powder, you guys are gonna see that I'm not gonna be able to get it. And the reason we cannot get it just yet is, of course, because I gotta feed the mountain. So that it brings more powder. So let me see what else we gotta do here. Yeah, as you guys can see, I cannot collect any more red powder. So good thing that I bought some. Let's see what this guy's gonna say. How are you two? To tell the truth, we're working our wipers off. <laughs> They're shuddering and boiling and baking and... Uh, enough chit-chat, Chomp. Make sure that those uh, salads are roasted to perfection. Yes, yes, Mr. Bruno, sir. That's great. Cooking can be real creative. And we all need our creativity to energize the magic on the Inspiration Isle. Plus, your cooking could inspire the other yodels to be creative too. Well, I'm not sure you're up for that right now. Certainly not. The Hungry Hilltop requires the full attention. What's going on with her? Ever since you fed her bug chow, she's, she's been asking us to make more. But I think we overdid it, and now she's suffering from a burning sensation. Can I help? As a matter of fact, yes. There's, there are plants in Greensprout Grove that are perfect uh, heartburn remedies. Then I'm off to collect them. Excellent! That frees me up to think about our new uh, menu. And it will be like anything Bandle City has ever seen before. Hang tight, Miss Hilltop. Help is on the way. Huh. So what do I gotta uh, bring her? Go to Gadge Town in uh, Greensprout. Uh, talk to Beep Pump. Bring uh, herbal mixtures. Oh, I already have that. There we go. Done. <laughs> Thank you already made it. Hey, and now the red stuff is refilled. You're okay. From now on, one more spicy stuff, only healthy food. Or no more spicy stuff. Out of the question, your health is our priority. <laughs> Mr. Brunei, sir, uh, about our new menu. Right, now that you are a cute Miss Hilltop, would you like to be part of our new uh, endeavor? What is the endeavor? While you are curing the uh, Hungry Hilltop, we prepared a whole new menu for healthy foods. None of the dishes were, uh, forgive the expression, half-baked. Works of uh, culinary art only. Awesome. In fact, we're so proud of them that we want to share all of them to Bandle City. Enter Hungry Hilltop Delivery. Wait, what? How can I help? Well, first things first, we need a place for a delivery station. Well, your hilltop is kind of small. 
That's why we ask you. You seem experienced with impossible problems. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Hmm. Psst. There's no space. It's not like we can make an island bigger. So, let's just grab the recipes and run. <laughs> I'm sure there's a solution. How are you going to deliver the orders? Chop? Um, <clears throat> uh, when I was traveling Battle City, I saw gorgeous mechanical bugs dancing to music. Maybe their uh, makers know how to make delivery bugs? They live in Batchtown? Oh, that would be so cool. Will do. Okay. So, we're going to have quite a lot of missions to do here. Uh, we got to chat with Beepop next. But first, let me collect more of this red stuff, the red spices, since they have uh, respawns. So that is perfect. Let's get that. Oh, delivery bug station. So the delivery bug station is going to be here. Awesome. So that's what the delivery bug station was all about. I'm guessing I'm going to be able to activate it and I use it once I'm going to be done with the quest. Okay, uh, let's collect these two. There we go. And uh, let's see what else. Got this one. Let me place a little house for a second. Uh, let's see if there's any missions that we got to do here. Nope, I got no missions currently that we got to do on this side for the restaurant. So, uh, actually, now that we have this, let me make myself a little bit of food for my friends. Oh, you know what? Hold up. I think my buddy might give me more money. Or more like more XP if I make him the other food type. So how do you make it? How do you make the cookie? Hold up a minute. How do you make this? Ah, okay, we apples. So I gotta turn this on. I gotta turn this on and put it here. There we go. That's how you made the cookies. Perfect. Hey, buddy. There you go. Is that the one that's gonna give me the most amount of points? Let's find out. It just filled one of those bubbles up, not more. Hmm. All right, anyway, uh, let me get a sleep here. There we go. Perfect, we got 31 points that we gotta spend. Uh, let me make me one more of these. Since we can, why not? Here we go, let's give it to my little buddy. Pet you as well. Okay. Uh, one more thing that I want to check. Decorations. Wall patterns. Flooring beds. Whoa. That's making everything black and... Wait, why is it black and white? That is so strange. Yeah, I got no clue why it's changing to black and white though. Whoa. Wait, why did it? Why did it turn black and white? Huh? I wonder why. Oh, we now have more decoration for the walls. Uh, that is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna leave it green. Like, actually, I kind of like it blue, like this. I don't know why that's uh, changed to black and white though. It's very strange. Yeah, can I cannot change it back for some reason? <laughs> anyway, hopefully, it's gonna get some color back once I'm gonna be done. Uh, let's use the Lulu bed. Okay, bedroom decorations. We do got quite a bit of new decorations. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I still feel like I like the flowers more, though, than everything else. Uh, small air rug. I still like the one for the pet. Uh, banners. Hey, we can also put on some banners as well. There we go. Let's go with that one. Oh, we can change, uh, we can change the look of the uh, sofa as well. How about that green? Perfect. That's the only one. Unfortunately, we cannot really change him that much, the Poro. Wall patterns can also be changed as a little bit as well. 
Okay, that is about it. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's keep on going. So, we got all that going. Let me get my backpack. And uh, let's head on out. Let's go to a new location. So, next up, we should fast travel to this Greensprout Grove, to be honest. We do have to go back and forth, back and forth to all these locations. Hey guys, any party ideas? Well, we want to do something epic. Like a chilling shelling festival. Or a colossal growing competition. Are those actual festival ideas? Nah, we don't really have anything. <laughs> Nothing but problems anyway. Well, uh, the well is starting to break down again. That's terrible. Yeah, the gardeners can tell you more about it. Do you have any other yodels party ideas then? I'm sure the yodels of our expedition will have ideas. Hi Bugs, have you been able to find your expedition leader yet? Mm, nah, not yet, but there's a lot to do back at the base camp. If only those lost yodels would stop, uh, would stop daydreaming and help. Now that's easy, fixing bridges is kind of my trademark. Good, good, good. At least someone's working here. I'll be uh, inspecting the bridge. What's happening to the expedition leader? Well, Dr. Feldspar was leading our yodels on a trek to explore the uh, Skyscratcher tree. But then she disappeared without a trace. No one's heard from her since. Whoa, I hope she's okay. What about the other yodels? Uh, they seem to have a band of bugs. He's the only one that still thinks the expedition is happening. They're probably hanging around Groundsprout Grove somewhere. It's nice to see you working together. Well, since the rivalry stopped, productivity has gone through the roof. Not to mention that Yorals have finally stopped confusing the two of us. <laughs> really? Yeah, all it takes is me standing on the right side every time. <laughs> Didn't you agree you were going to stand on the right, uh, left side? Wait, am I like Ike? Oh no, we're just like them now. Right, so uh, we'll sort this out later. Any other questions? Not yet, I guess, buddy. Uh, let me collect some more amber. I don't know if I need some more, but uh, one thing that is true is that we gotta fix up the bridge. First... Let's see what's happening here. Well, the cocoa had to go somewhere. Maybe someone drank it with a giant straw? The one drank the whole well with a straw? <laughs> I mean, it had to go somewhere. <laughs> what's happening? The cocoa disappeared from the well. Now all the plants are sad. Hmm, that's very sad. What can I do to help? Well, some problems need to go visit the lake. But we gather not travelers. But we gather is not travelers. Our plants need us. Well, I'll get back to you then. I guess I gotta go to the lake, right? To try to fix this thing. Although it does look like it's working just fine to me. Okay, we got a couple there. Let me place this thing for now and open up the store so that we can sell more stuff inside. Uh, this is one of the portals. Let me check over here for now. Look at all these bugs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to use these bugs as uh, delivery bugs. You just got to figure out how to do it. More shops with you. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and fix this up. Oh, <gasps> look at that. We need two of them. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. So I know I have one of those ropes, but I need two apparently. Uh, where did I put it? Where? Oh, where did I put that rope? Man, my farm is giant. I wonder if I'm going to be able to make it even bigger than that. Uh, okay. Apparently, I only have one rope on me. Yeah, I only have one rope on me. Okay. I think I know how to make it. So this is the one that I got to use to make the rope, right? Yep, I just need something to be activated. The growth aura. Oh, you know what? I don't think I need this because we already have the aura outside. Yeah, all I got to do is just get this out. Uh, move some things around. And the growth aura is going to be active in no time. You, right over here. There we go. And now I should have the growth aura. There we go. That's what I needed. 
Okay, uh, let's make... I, I mean, I know that I need only one. Because I already have one, right? And now I should be able to fix up the bridge. Uh, what about this bridge? I can't do this anything right now. Okay, okay. We're gonna have to come back to that later. But now, let's fix this up. There we go. Fixed. The green sprout woods. Finally. And I think there is a location there where I can place my camp as well. So let me go get my backpack. There we go. And uh, let's check this place out. Oh, we even have a cave. Uh, what? This looks really good. I think I'm going to be able to make a bridge that's going to connect to maybe the other area. It is. I'm pretty sure about it. I cannot check it out, unfortunately. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to make like a bridge there or something. Are you guys the Yodels that were on the expedition? Yeah, we were. But now we're just chilling. Hmm. Why haven't we just tried to get out here? Well, it's nice out here, isn't it? Besides, what's the point? How was the expedition? Ex... But what? <laughs> oh, right, like uh, the tree thing. Uh, that the Philspar left to look for a way to its roots after it fell down. She never came back. And without her... Look, that cloud looks almost like you. <laughs> you, weightless and careless. Don't lose heart, I I'm sure. Nah, you don't get it. We want to get to the tree so badly that everything now feels pointless. Don't remind me. See? <laughs> How do you know where your little went? Well, Dr. Philspar uh, mentioned the caves. Do not talk to me about the caves. They're dark and scary and not chill. Hmm, okay, thanks. And I thought it was going nothing. Sitting in the badge book for so long, feels like these guys have set up a new record. Don't be too hard on them. They've lost their leader. I don't know what I would do if Gramps would just left. Really? I'd say we're getting closer to saving Clover on our own. Think we can help those lost yodels to find the purpose? Hmm, let's ask Box. He might know. Alright, that part is done. Um, let us see here. No shops or anything from them. But this is where I can actually place my pick my jig. Open it up. Get more sales. And, uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, we might not have enough people. So, in order to get more people, guess what? We need to feed them. Yeah, look at that. We only have 2 out of 21. So, if I held a kitchen here, I guess, we could... Charge it up. Thing is, I gotta get me more of these charged up bands. So, I'm actually gonna only serve the stuff that does not require um, the band to be activated. Yeah, let's just do that. Let me trigger this. Uh, let me make some beet food here. Place the egg in there. There we go. And start of the event. Alright, we got one egg. Uh, cooked egg as well that I gotta go make. So let's make a cooked egg as well. There we go. Oh, another one. We go another one seriously and another one <laughs> eat that so it doesn't go bad okay and this one wants the banana cooked there we go come on buddy perfect mission completed and this should have brought uh, 13 smiles and 22 people. That's more like it. Okay, so that one's charged up. If I want to hold an event now, I should be able to do it easily. Uh, let's make one of these. Let's also make fried egg. Why not? Let's see if the uh, little guy is going to like it. Okay, perfect. There you go, buddy. Eat up. Give me those points. And that is going to fill up only one bubble. 
Hmm. Okay. Okie dokie. Next. Let me get my kitchen out. I'm gonna let it do its thing. Um, I might just need to get more spiders though. Hold up. Give me a second. Let me make more of those spiders. Spider traps. One, two, three, four. There we go. What is this place? Oh, that's another cave entrance. Wait, I can I can go in there? What? We got another portal activated though, so that's perfect. Yeah, apparently I cannot go inside that cave for some reason. Hmm, that is strange. Uh, probably eventually we'll be able to get there. Let me keep on exploring here. I'm probably gonna have to clean that up. And we got a check. Ooh, the captain's hook. What? No way I just found the captain's hook. Finally. But I feel like in order to use it, I also have to have a better um, fishing rod. Uh, I might have to make me more stuff to sell. Hold up a minute. Let me make me a lot of paper airplanes since I have a lot of paper. Yeah, let's make a lot of these and sell it. It's not like give me like tons and tons of money, but it's good enough. Okay. How much do we have? Hmm. We got two stacks, so that should be all good. Put that there. Let me get rid of one of the stacks. Because the other one is going to go in here. That is hopefully going to sell a little bit better. Uh, let me get my backpack with me. And let me make my way inside the cave. The walled caverns. Oh wait, it's blocked. Hmm. I think I know what I gotta do here. I think I'm gonna have to, um, first of all, go to Gatch Town. And probably somebody, somebody over there is gonna teach me how to make explosives, or more like how to use the explosives, in order to get rid of these boulders. Yeah, pretty sure that's gonna happen. Okay, well, now we know. And this is also a dead end. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, this guy wants to talk with me. Uh, how do we inspire the Lost Yodels? Alas, only Dr. Feltzberg can help there. Dr. Feltzberg? What's she like? She's only the most adventure-obsessed yodel we can find. Her enthusiasm is enough for 10 yodels. If she didn't disregard the rules so often, she'd have made a great battle scout. What was the expedition for? Oh, I was working on it for months and months, studying topography, climate, and the weather patterns. But it was Dr. Feldsper who got the ball rolling. Our expedition was going to learn what uh, makes the tree so huge when, well, the portal disaster happened. The tree fell down and you know the rest. Hmm. Where can I find Dr. Feldsper? Honestly, she might be hiding uh, right underneath your nose. <laughs> what? <laughs> or she might be far, far, far beyond the horizon. That's a lot of ground to cover. Yeah, well, I remember her having a journal. She used to write the wildest adventure ideas in science. That's a good place to start, as any. Thanks. Oh, hold up. This guy's selling this thing that I need. Okay. And also, sap. Never seen sap before. So, uh... I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to collect sap eventually. Uh, I'm still gonna buy it. I'm still gonna buy it. Why not? Now, my question is... Pop, interact with Feldsport Chest. How do I find Feldsport Chest? That's my question. Was Feldsport Chest around here somewhere and I just didn't see it? Or maybe like I couldn't interact with it, right? Oh yeah, now I can interact with it. There we go. <gasps> okay, so that's the letter. 
Dear Diary, Ah, uh, with that out of my way, it's back to the drawing board. What will Temo do? He's unpredictable, so I've got to be unpredictable as well. Maybe I should visit Fire Yodels in the Big Catch Camp? Note to self, bring a yummy for the Squirrel Cats. Hmm. Hold up a minute. Uh, if I go in here... Yeah, so apparently, Big Catch Camp. I'm not sure what that is. But now I gotta talk with Beep Pop again. Maybe he's gonna tell me where that is. Oh, this is Boggs actually, never mind. Uh, dancing lessons, neat net. Catch down. Meters, gunners, and gadget down. Okay, never mind. Let's go back then. I guess we're done here for now. All right, there we go. Uh, let's collect some more resources. I think I want to go to the old man real fast. Uh, I also have to get rid of some stuff from my inventory as uh, we are kind of full on stuff. And I want to get some more of those uh, rubber thingamajigs charged up. Not to mention, I might be able to hold another lecture. Oh, I can. There we go. The gardening one. And we got more fallen stars for that. Perfect. We're almost, almost done with all the uh, basic lectures. I just need to do one more. If I give me one of those guns, I'm going to be able to do it. So we're getting very close. All right. And that is about it for now. Let me go to the old man real fast. I don't even know if I got to chat with them. Can I activate this? Still can't. Okay, so this one's giving me stars. And I don't want that, though. I want to use it for something that uh, is going to give me an artifact instead, since I only have one. Uh, hold up. The old man should have been here, right? Yeah, but I cannot really talk with him by the looks of it. Okay, uh, let me place this one down. Let me also get some salt while we add it. Oh, gosh. Inventory space, of course. So, uh, I need to... What did I need? This one. To charge up my stuff. Yeah, that's what I need. So, let me move some things around. Um, to charge this up. Okay, I need to move it. Move this thing over here. Okay. All right, and now we can make all these bands. Charged up. There we go. All the bands have been charged up. Perfect. Okay, what else? What else? What else? Electro rubber conductor. What? So many things. Uh, assembly bench level 2, the flask workbench level 2. Wait, can I upgrade the flask workbench? Do I even have one here? I don't have one here. Let me see if I can upgrade it. It's already being upgraded, never mind. Because we can make uh, herbal mixtures, fertilizers, colorful cloth, paint, and goo with it. I gotta make me the advanced portal rods and some of these shoes as well. So, since there's not much we can do here yet, anymore at least for now, let me get the backpack. Let me go back to the question mark area. I know I can make those question mark uh, locations, but uh, why struggle when I can simply bring it over and uh, place it in here instead? Let's get more liquid. Okay, so I can easily place it here. Wait, open that up. Open this up. Okay, those are gonna sell, hopefully. Uh, what did I need to make? Okay, there we go. So now we can make the advanced portal rods. Awesome, finally. So we used the other one that was bad, and we made a better one. That's what we just did. Interesting. Uh, next. Wait, why can't I make the sapling leg? Oh, because I already have it. The spring-powered leg, and the knit knitted leg. Sure. Let's see if it's better than the one that I have. Ah, we're basically improving the ones that we have. That's what it's doing. It's up upgrading them. Upgrade this one as well, then. There we go. I upgraded all the legs that I had previously. Now I just gotta figure out which one is the best. 
So I have the Sprout Leg on me right now. Which is the upgraded one, if I'm not mistaken, right? Or do I have to take it? Oh, you know what? I think I gotta take it off to upgrade it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it off. There we go. Now, now I can upgrade it. There we go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now that we got that upgraded. Okay, this one is max speed. Max drain. Base speed. Max stamina. Oh, this one requires oil to use. This one doesn't require anything to use. That's what I love about it. What about this leg? Oh my god, I'm so fast with this one. Holy smokes. I think I'm going to stick with this leg. It also charges up quite fast as well. Look at that. Okie dokie. Got myself a better, uh, better leg again. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Cool. In that case, you know what I'm going to do? Let me move the uh, the legs to this chest. Um, yeah. Uh, also, I got to go into my inventory here and put the rod. Advanced rod. Oh, I don't have to... I guess I just got to hold on to it in my inventory, eh? I thought I'm supposed to put it on my character, but no. Okay, anyway. Uh, as I was saying, uh, let me go bring all the legs and put them in here. So we can store them in this chest instead. Sure. That sounds like a plan. Alright, let's go do that. I gotta make me more of these uh, reinforced threads as well. Uh, another thing that I want to do, since we're kind of like struggling with resources here, we're more like depositing. Let's make two more chests. There you go. Much better. I'm gonna deposit a lot of stuff in these chests, so I don't have to worry or uh, already placing stuff in a location where I could have uh, placed something new, for example. I'm just going to store everything that I can inside these chests so I can get rid of them from my inventory and always have uh, available inventory space. As I always seem to run out of it. That as well. Okay, looking good. Looking good. Much better now. We got the sap that we bought. Uh, cool. Let's leave that to its thing. Let's also make this chest over here. I'm about to go to sleep as well very soon. Because we have way too much stuff on us. And as I was saying, legs and things that are for sale are going to go here. Okay, perfect. Uh, uh, let me roll the restaurant though. So we can get rid of the food elements. Because I have tons of these as well. Look, go here. Bananas, and we should be all. Uh, actually, gotta get rid of th these ones as well. There we go. Finally, okay, more inventory space. So, what I gotta do now is first of all, let me make a uh, food items. I guess let's go with this. Make it. Let's see here for now. Turn this on. Grab it. I gotta make a cracker for a little guy. We are about to get ourselves a lot of points here to spend in the skill tree. We have uh, 36, but I'm about to get more. Alright, finally, that is done. Let's go to sleep and activate the point. 50! Awesome! Okay, and with all these points... We can now do a little bit of skill tree unlocking. Ooh, the magic aura. We needed that like crazy. Oh, I'm going to be able to upgrade the uh, leg as well. The enchanted leg. Yes. Let's get that one going. Uh, magic mirror. I only have 11 to spend, so I definitely don't have enough anymore. Yep, don't have enough here either. Things are starting to cost more energy points, you guys can see. I cannot really upgrade anything with 11. 11 is definitely not enough. And these ones are already done. Well, in that case, my question is, can I not upgrade the leg? Is that what just happened? Close this up. Open this up. Let me find out. Not here. We can. There we go. Awesome. We upgraded the uh, magic leg as well. Now, my question is, is the magic leg better? Wait, I haven't... 
Do I even have it? Hold up a minute. I want to cancel? Sure, let's make it then. Okay, so we made the enchanted leg. Interesting. How's the enchanted leg look? It might be better. So max stamina... Uh-huh, max speed is lower. But the stamina dream is less. And it has a base speed, a faster base speed. Uh huh. So this one is the one that is charging up. Oh, you know what? This one is the one that you gotta tap in order to activate it, and then you let it do its thing, and then you gotta tap it again. But I feel like I'm moving quite fast with it, to be honest. It is magic after all, and now it's slow, right? But I feel like I'm I'm, I'm a little bit faster than the normal leg. So if I go into the backpack again and I grab this one, for example, hey, look at that. I'm quite slow running normally with this, but if I put the magic one on, even if I don't sprint, I feel like I'm moving a little bit faster. And when I sprint, I'm not moving faster than the other one, but it's fast enough. Okay, I like it, I like it. Uh, let me get rid of this one then. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We got legs, we got everything that we need. Uh, lastly, we gotta go to Gadgetown and the Gunner's Camp. I think what I'm gonna do instead, I'm gonna go to the Gunner's Camp and have a quick chat with those fellas over there. Uh, well, add it. Let me get the backpack. Got some more stars over there. Perfect. Let's see what the Gunners are up to. Right up here. And as we do this, we can easily place the backpack and trigger this off. So it keeps on selling stuff while we're uh, doing adventures on this side. And let's find out what's happening here. And that's why our top priority right now is finding Vigor. The best way to do that is to split up and go over the island with Fine Tooth Comb. Now, Timo, you know Greensprout grow the best, right? So you should... Hmm. Scout will say that the Bandos Scout Leader can decide his own priorities. You're saying you have better things to do? <laughs> well, first, I have a marching drill coming up. Then, hmm, you really march all the time. Come on, Timo. If you refuse to act like a scout leader, we're going to need a new one. And who's going to be this new leader? You? No, Stanton. Wait, what? <laughs> so, it's a competition, huh? Fine, I'm not scared. Please, just roll with it. Roll with what? I'm not a gunner or a scout. Well, Muffy here can give you a few tips for both of those. Dog nugget, does it really have to be me? It's not like we have any other volunteers, right? Hmm. Not a gunner, not a gunner! Boo! <laughs> Fine, I'll give you some tips. But you do need to pass the test to become a gunner first. What test? Well, that's a standard feature for any gunner. Using a gun? That helps, sure, but it's actually having a hat. You've got to make yourself a gunner helmet and present it to us. If you like it, you can become one of us. Hmm, seems easy enough. Tell me about being a gunner. A true gunner never shies away from a fight. He knows how to protect his friends in any situation. And of course, gunners are brave enough to take on uh, to take on any mission. Like what? Hmm. Didn't you hear? I said any kind of mission. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. So I guess my mission is gonna be to craft a helmet in the assembling bench. To kind of like prove to them that I'm uh, good enough to be a gunner. <laughs> Oh my god, this game. This game. How do I even make a helmet though? And at the same time, my question is, could I maybe use, um... Let me collect these. Could I maybe use this thing to get me something awesome out of it, like an artifact? Nope, it's just giving me the same stuff. Never mind. Never mind. So how do you craft the helmet? This one. Oh, easy. I actually already have everything that I need. All I gotta do is just get my backpack and go and craft it.
right, again, open this up, this shop, so that it keeps on selling me and giving me stars. Uh, let me open this up. And let me make myself the helmet. There we go. I may need to become a gunner, but I'll never relinquish my passion for knitting. <laughs> yeah, I'd hold a headgear tighter if I were you. <laughs> Why? So the big words don't split, uh, don't slip out. <laughs> oh man. Wait, why can I not make this? Oh, because I need uh, some planks. I may have to make me some more planks. We're completely out of it. Uh, let's make 30 of them. There we go. Okay, you guys make the planks. Let me actually make my way into my inventory. And let me put on the hat. Oh man, this is the best hat that I have. Look at it. So cool. And I can also make my way here and get rid of this hat. I actually really like this hat. Definitely, definitely the best hat that we had, for sure. Alright, uh, let me let the shop do its thing. Keep on selling the uh, resources for us. And while at it, let me activate the uh, the mission here. I have a feeling there's going to be more parts to uh, becoming a gunner here. Uh, first of all, was the hat. Maybe I'm going to also need a gun and stuff like that. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, guys. I got an awesome hat. I've made the hat. Whoa, what? Who said that? Um, it, it's me, Stanton. <laughs> Gunners, do you see anybody? Nope. Nuh-uh. Whoa, did this hat make me invisible? <laughs> of course not. That was a test gunner. A leader must be a lot less gullible. Remember that for next time. Do you swear to be fearless, dedicated, and prepared for anything? I do? Then I declare you gunner leader. Hooray! <laughs> Okay, Yuddles, our top priority is finding Vigor. I want to split up and uh, I want to split up and go into the islands with a fine tooth comb. Any questions? Negative. Hey, there we go. Everybody's going and finding uh, Vigor. Awesome. By the way, we've got this note from Ozzy that we can't make out. What? Why did you show me sooner? Hmm, because it's highly classified. A gunner should know how important it is. I gotta salute you for joining the Gunners, so here's my salute, I guess. So, you're not mad? Wait, I'm mad that I couldn't make a helmet that good. <laughs> but since you took over and got this awesome badge, I hereby declare you a badge wearer. And let the one who loses be the loser. <laughs> Wait, I don't wanna fight. Uh, don't worry, he'll probably get over it. Well, there we go. We got ourselves another uh, note. I only have, I have two notes at the moment. So I'm guessing I gotta find quite a few of these notes. If I go into my inventory, uh, yeah, look at that. We have this one, the Aussie's note. Operation Shampoo, Vigor, no choice. Today, Battle City, catastrophe. What the heck? What am I even doing with all these notes that I keep on finding? And next up, we're gonna have to go to Nita Village. We gotta talk to Liana, go to Green Sprout Woods and talk to Quill as well. Man, so many missions, so many missions. But you know what, guys? This is going to be the end of this episode of Bandal Tale, and we'll come back the next one. We're going to keep on exploring here, try to figure out what we got to do next. Uh, we're kind of like getting a, uh, a search party here, looking for Vegas so far uh, with the Gunners. I absolutely love this part about the game, and I cannot wait what we can explore in the next one. But that being said, thank you very much for watching. Special thanks to those of you guys that made it all the way to the end, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!